Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Because remember what Trump said. Take the guns first, due process second. That is not how our constitution works. That is not how the law works. We are innocent until proven guilty. We don't have to stand in front of a judge and prove our innocence. Whether you be white, black, Hispanic, Asian, Muslim, Christian, Hebrew, it does not matter. You are innocent until proven guilty. But yet they want to sit there and stand in front of us and tell us that no, because we might be perceived as a threat, because someone says that we are a threat, we need to have our guns taken away, which is a violation, like our previous representative said, of our Second Amendment right, of our First Amendment right as well, Fourth Amendment and Fifth Amendment. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for our Constitution? What does that mean for our country if they're going to sit here and stand in front of us and tell us that our Bill of Rights, that our human rights are invalid because of their feelings, because of hearsay? It's a poor time in this country where in our Constitution and our Bill of Rights is pretty much seen as a walking mat for political talk. Right now, the Second Amendment is a human right, like I mentioned before, for every American. Even though it might not be viewed as a human right throughout the world, it is a human right. For the Mexicans, for the Canadians, for the UK, for everyone in the world, the right to bear arms is a human right. The problem is, is that throughout the world and throughout the U.S., people see it as now more of an inconvenience, as a threat to civil society. But what happens to civil society? Take a look at Nazi Germany, when the Nazis took away the guns from the Jewish. Take a look at the Chinese, whenever the Chinese communists took away the guns from the citizens. Millions were slaughtered. Genocide. Now, I know there are many tragedies, and I cannot speak for, for the feelings of those families and everything that's happened to them. But we have to realize that if without these rights, without the right to keep their arms, there will be genocide. Whether it be genocide against the Democrats, whether it be genocide against the Republicans, this is not a political issue. This is a human right issue. Right now, we are using our four boxes of liberty. Right now, we, when we elected Evers, that was the ballot box. Now that the ballot box has failed, we are making our speech be known via the soapbox. And if things keep going the way they are, we might have to use the cartridge box and be vilified <laughs> by oh, the jury shit. box. Oh, shit. Right now, some of you may say I'm an extremist. Some of you may say that I need to be red flagged because of my speech. But this is the truth. Whether you be a socialist, whether you be a communist, you all have the right to keep and bear arms. Right now, we are in a poor state. And right now, especially with the way that our Democratic presidential candidates and President Trump are speaking of treason against our Constitution with this red flag law nonsense, we have to say that we will not kneel at the hands of government. We will not bend down and take a knee to them and accommodate their will. We will stand if we have to and fight. Whether it be this, whether it be the last round of every magazine, we'll fix bayonets. We will not give up our rights. We will stand and we will fight if we have to. <laughs> like the Patriots in Lexington and Concord, we will not give our rights. Even if we have to die and lose every ounce of blood on the field, we will continue to stand. We might be citizens. We might be seen as nothing but paychecks to these politicians. But we are citizens. We are not subjects of the state. And here's the last bit of words to those that still want to come and take our rights, still want to come, break down our doors, shoot us in our living rooms. You, it's no longer come and take it. You can come and fight! Yeah. 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 You're trying, bitch!